What's up guys, Invader1 here again, this time with the Talon Mercenary Engineer. And I'm happy to bring this video to you guys. Um, I did have another one before when the, the character first came out. It was really good, I, we extracted and all that, but I feel that now I understand the character a lot better. So um, I brought this gameplay to kind of show you guys a little bit of what you can do. This is Platinum gameplay, and I will talk about the differences between playing this guy in Gold and on Platinum. And uh, what you can do and how you can spec them out differently. So we're going to talk about this build. This this is more of a cane trip mine build. Okay, this is more focused on the cane trip mine. So I am going to talk about the differences, and you are going to see how you know you can see how you can actually make his bows, his our arrows, uh, actually work for other difficulties like gold, silver, and bronze. I'm going to talk about that uh, on this gameplay, which is platinum. Uh, his arrows are not as effective, but then at the same time, that's because I'm using a keen trip mine build where I mostly focus on the keen trip mine. So let's talk about it. Keen trip mine, very important. You want these puppies. These are really, really freaking good. Okay, they destroy everything. You really want to use them to destroy spawns, and I will. We will talk about that, and you'll see how I do that. For rank four, instead of radius, I go more for damage because I'm platinum. I want to make sure I take out the bosses who have a lot, a lot of armor on them. Rank 5, if I were playing on any other, uh, if I were playing on gold, silver, and bronze, I would go more for grenade capacity so you could have more. But for uh, platinum, I'm going for more armor damage again because I have a lot more bosses that are coming at me. For rank 6, uh, Radius is decent, guys, but again, go for damage. Go more, more, more damage. Look at it, it's 3,210 and 5 meter radius. You can destroy an entire spawn with these guys. Concussive arrows, I do not touch them. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're decent on the lower difficulties, but I just don't really have much of a need for them. But if I were to spec them out, okay, I would go for damage and force. Then I would actually go for chill. And then I would actually go for. Uh, in this situation, I would go for a grenade capacity just so I could have more. I mean, that's the way I would spec them out. Fortunately, I, I really don't have much use for them. I like the armor piercing arrows, but even then, at the same time, um, they are really good on this gameplay, but I don't use them as much as I would like to because on platinum, it's a little different. They're not as strong. And, well, I didn't spec it out. I didn't spec this build out to be Omnibo uh, spec, but so I will show you guys how you will want to spec it. For platinum, you're probably going to, uh, I'm sorry, for Plano, I'm going for grenade capacity so I can have more, um, more cane trip mines. Again, this is a cane trip mine build for gold, silver, and bronze. You're going to want to go for damage, okay, because you can actually three shot a brute. You can one shot a, a, a cannibal. You can hit marauders. I mean, you could destroy them with the Omni bow. So what you're going to want to do is for gold, silver, and bronze, go for damage. For platinum, I go for more grenade capacity if you're using the cane trip mines more. For for anything that's gold, silver, and bronze, on rank 5, I will go for shred to do some damage over time. For platinum, armor damage. Again, a lot more bosses, a lot more armor. Rank 6, I'm going for grenade capacity because, again, I want the bonuses of having more grenades so that I can have more cane trip mines. But for... Any lower difficulties like gold, silver, and bronze, arrow count like that. You could do more damage, okay? So that'll make that'll make your armor piercing arrows really, really powerful, and you could destroy marauders, you could destroy phantoms, you could really do a lot of damage. For elite mercenary, um, I'm going for power damage like that. Uh, his cane trip mines are more powerful. His armor piercing bows, are, uh, arrows are more powerful. Rank five power damage, the same idea, and you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you. Rank six, I think r charge regeneration is better. I have more weapon damage here, and that was more of a mistake. But I recommend charge regeneration like that. Your charges on your Omni bow and um, and your King Trip might say it all recharges faster, and they come back at you. So you're gonna want charge regeneration, guys. That's the way to go. Now Omni bow mastery. Now for platinum, I am going for durability because even with this, this guy gets dropped so easily on platinum he's he is literally a, a glass cannon he really really is because he's so weak he just he's so weak so i'm going for more fitness excerpt but for gold silver bronze you're gonna want to go for omni bow damage you're gonna on rank four you're gonna want to go killing spree on rank five okay you're gonna want to go for omni bow damage on rank six because like this your melee damage damage bonuses become so huge 
they become so big that you can use your Omni Bow to destroy enemies. And that's pretty much the way you're going to want to go. Gold, silver, and bronze. Platinum, you can use it as well. Again, this video gameplay is not based on his melee damage bonuses. It's mostly based on trip mines. But I do use the armor-piercing arrows, and I do use the, the bow here and there. I do get some kills with it. For the ammo type, I definitely recommend ammo types like incendiary around so you can do some damage over time, while at the same time you you know you add your armor piercing capabilities. Weapon bonuses, I go for strength enhancers because again your melee, you, the way you want to work this guy is you want to enhance his melee damage bonuses for your bow. Now, if I were not using a cane trip mine build. I would not use grenade capacity. I'm using this because I want more keen trip mines, and that's the way I'm working this gameplay. But I will go for, I will go more for a, a, a gear bonus that will give you more. Uh, for example, if you're using a shotgun, the berserker package, so you get more melee damage bonuses. Um, or you're gonna want to go for this puppy over here, the hydraulic joints, melee damage plus 20%. You use that, and you are destroying everything with the omni bow on gold, silver, and bronze. Now, for power amplifier module, the reason I'm using this is because his powers are affected by it. For example, his keen trip mines become stronger and his his armor piercing arrows become stronger as well. Now, for the kinds of weapons, I'm using the court scorpion I like to stagger a little bit and a hurricane or or shotgun something to kind of like take down armor a little bit even though hey, his cane trip mines do everything in reality. I'm going to be honest with you, I really his cane trip mines are so good. So let's go into the gameplay. I want to talk a little bit more about how to use this guy. Now, before I even go into um, the great things about this guy, I'm going to tell you what I don't like about this guy. One of the things that I don't like about the fact that is he is just so, so flimsy. I mean, I, in, in reality, uh, I think at the end, I ended up with about two metagels, and one of those kills was just so frustrating. I think it was a Marauder, just kind of just hosed me down. But some of the good things, like, for example, here. Cane trip mines. You can go and pretty much destroy entire spawn with them and just absolutely demolish the enemies. Remember, you have over 3,000 damage. So the way I like to use it, I like to rush up some spawns a little bit. You need to take a little bit of a... Uh, you obviously need to take some cover so that you can... Um, <laughs> you would not get destroyed because again guys my com biggest complaint is that this guy is so darn flimsy um, but at least in a situation like this then he becomes so absolutely amazing where you can take down brutes you can take down bosses with his cane trip mines and just destroy everything which is absolutely great now you could also use his armor piercing bows uh, for brutes and for armor you know, like, oh, there you go, a little omni bow kill. I did promise I would get some omni bow kills, guys. So, it does happen. Uh, look at this. Flimsiness. Now, I don't even know how that happened. I think the Marauder shot me in the corner. But the game gave me a free revived. And, um, and then over here I got trolled. <laughs> so, anyways, I, I, I said, you know what, forget it. I got trolled by uh, a little cannibal. But we go on with the gameplay, and you will see how great this guy really is. And you can see... You can see that his cane trip mines is really where his bread and butter is. Now, when it comes to gold, silver, and bronze, and I have to I have to differentiate. I really do because I've been playing this guy on both gold uh, and on both and on platinum, obviously, because I'm playing him on platinum here. When it comes to playing him on lower difficulties, the build that I was describing before, where you enhance his melee capabilities, I think I believe is better because. You can use you could just go around using his bow to destroy everything. You could kill banshees, you could destroy marauders, you could pretty much one uh three shot brutes, you could you could shoot a cannibal in the face, destroy him like really, really quickly. Um so it you know, when you use him that way, uh his bow becomes amazing. It just becomes really, really good. So I definitely recommend that for the lower difficulties. For platinum, I'm I go more for this kind of build where I'm depending more on the cane trip mine. I am using my Omni bow to do some damage, but it's just not as powerful because this build is not really set up for the Omni bow. Uh so the uh, that's why I made a differentiation that you guys I, what I would do is, if you're not playing Platinum, you're playing mostly Gold, Silver, and Bronze, go more for the Omni Bow build, where you do on his passives, uh, on instead of Health and Fitness, put, you know, put all the melee damage bonuses, put them all on top, 4, 5, and 6, get them all on top, and you will see that you can go throughout the entire game with using Cane Trip Mines probably maybe a few times. And I, might, I, I may even put a, a Gold... I may even put a gold video so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Uh, but on Platinum, I go mostly for 
uh, the kind of situation where I am using more of my cane trip mines. I am using my bow for uh, debuffing enemies. So this is the other thing that you will see. When I see a Banshee or I see an Atlas, I will actually just activate my armor piercing bows so that I could go right ahead and debuff the enemy because armor piercing bows actually give you a debuff uh, against the enemies and that's that's one of the reasons why I actually prefer the armor piercing arrows versus the versus the concussive even though concussive is, is decent uh, the armor damage debuff okay Increase, ar uh, increase damage done to armor by 30% on rank 5 for the armor damage on the armor piercing arrows I think are very very good and I use them here Th that's pretty much the only the only the only time I'm, I start using armor piercing arrows is mostly for that you'll see it that I am I, I see a, a banshee or I'll see a prime and I'll you know pop the armor piercing arrows and then I will debuff the enemy and then I will use the cane trip mine so like that I get the uh, the damage bonuses to armor number one and then as I'm using the cane trip mines the enemy is already debuffed and takes way more damage so regardless of the fact that the cane trip mines are already ridiculously powerful <laughs> with that additional 35 percent bonus against armor then you are truly destroying every armor target that you can and now you see here the scorpion guys I like the scorpion for this guy I like it because you can stack enemies oh, look at this moron look, 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 this moron what is he doing he just literally just walked right up to us that was just freaking hilarious so now <laughs> going back to the scorpion I like the scorpion for this guy because you know you can actually stagger enemies number one and you know it works quite well for a character like this while you're staggering them you can shoot them with the Ani bow you hurt them bad and you know it works quite well I mean that's that's kinda like the way I like to work with this guy and then I'll use my SMG for working with uh, armor or anything like that now you see that I will use the armor piercing bows use the debuff on the banshees use the debuff on the other characters and that's the way I roll now for gold guys I would pretty in all honesty I'll, I'll go through the entire gameplay probably just messing up spawns with the cane trip mine and then every other enemy I'll just use the bow <laughs> just the omni bow the omni bow is really really good now the the, the, the stacks on the omni bow guys you, you you know like I was saying before in the beginning of the video you are going to want to go with all melee damage bonuses. You know, the only power amplifier you're going to want to go for is just on your armor, and that is it. I mean, it's it's in all honesty, uh, his bow is based off of melee damage. So the only time you get um, any power amplification is when you actually turn on the armor piercing uh, arrows. Now, don't forget to do that if you're looking at you know you're trying to do some damage with your with your melee your omni bow. You know, sometimes, you know, that happened to me in the beginning. I was just playing with the bow, and I'm like, you know, I, I click on the uh, armor-piercing arrows, and I'm just, all of a sudden, I'm just going throughout the entire game, and I'm like, what's going on? They're not dying, you know, Omnibow kill. Nice. But they're not dying, you know, as quickly as I expected, and I'm like, I kept on forgetting to turn on the, uh, the, the uh, armor-piercing arrows. So don't forget to do that. That's when you'll get the power bonus um, for the armor-piercing capabilities. And they, they work quite well, guys. They really, really do. Um, and again, this is this is mostly a cane trip my build, so that that's why you won't see a lot of omni bow kills. Although even though I do get them, I just got a few already. Um, but again, now the, the the type of gameplay, the way you want to play with this guy on platinum, guys, is that you want to take as much cover as possible. This guy, you definitely you'll see me taking cover here and there. Um, I am you know running the map quite a bit. But at the same time, as you notice, in the first wave, I got downed. I mean, I got down on the first wave like a noob. I mean, that was such a noob-like situation right there that it was just so annoying. But, again, you know, it happens. It happens with a guy like this. You have to get used to him. You have to be take, take constant cover. And this is the other thing about cover, guys. And this is what messed me up. Uh, um, I realized that one of the deaths that I got, I was, I was so upset because I was thinking, why did I die? Why did I die? Now, when you are going to use your Omni Bow, it does take you out of cover. Okay, it does take you out of cover. So, do 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 pay attention to the fact that if you are going to use your Omni Bow, you're in cover. It's going to take you out of cover, and it, you know, the the enemy is going to have an advantage over you. So, be very very careful of that. You're going to want to make sure that you know you're 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 paying attention to that. The other thing is, guys, that 
you know, don't, uh, <laughs> this is funny. In this situation, I noticed that the, the, the hunter just went around my mind. And my buddy, you know, I was just joking around. I was like, oh, look at the hunter. He totally went around my mind. What a punk, you know, whatever. He's just like, well, you know, Invader, it's like there's a big laser sight going right through it of course if I, if it were me i'd totally go around the mine too <laughs> so you know that does happen of course you know the enemy is going to do their best to go around the mines now what you want to do if you really want to destroy the enemy they go around the mine if you pop a fourth mine it will detonate the first one okay so the, w the way it works you have three mines there and then the fourth one will detonate the first one so that's how you can actually destroy spawns. If you noticed, I am popping a few uh, mines, but it's one, two, three, and then the fourth one detonates the first one, and then so forth and so forth. Every other mine that you that you use will detonate the other one. So when you go into a spawn, remember, you know, one, two, three, four, boom, and then another one, boom, and until the spawn is destroyed, and then you leave it alone, and then you can go right ahead and just do whatever you want to do. <laughs> but that's that's the way to go and yes the enemies will do their best to go right ahead and ignore the mine so in a situation like that when you see that they're ignoring it you can either use your weapon or you can you can use your weapon use your omni bow you know take that take advantage of the omni bow if the if your omni bow is set up right and you know you use all the melee damage bonuses um, go right ahead and do that use your omni bow bring it up you know weaken the enemy stagger them a little bit and then go right ahead and use your weapon to finish them off or you can use the fourth cane trip line and go right ahead and destroy them so that's you know that's one way to work it now a fun thing to do is to funnel enemies okay with the cane trip line a situation like this you can check this out guys i actually um what i do i was gonna f put the cane trip mines right there but i noticed that for whatever reason the uh uh, that that uh, for a, for a reason that window uh, I guess the angle was not working. So when you have a situation like this, it's so much fun because you can actually funnel enemies in a situation like a hack um, or an escort. And in this situation, I have all the enemies coming right through here, and I'm just popping cane trip mines. <laughs> Just every single time they get closer, just another cane trip mine, and I get that 3,000 plus damage on the enemies, and boom, 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 boom. Just keep on killing, keep on cane trip mining. So that's another thing that you can do with the cane trip mines. I don't recommend to just leave the cane trip mines um, in areas and just forget about them. I, I recommend actually that you use the cane trip mines a little bit more offensively. So in a situation like this, yes, I actually just, um, I was putting them in a little corner, but I knew that the enemies were going to go in there. Most of the time, I am using the cane trip mines inside, you know, to, to take out a spawn and destroy the enemies uh, that way. So that's the way I would work them. You know, don't, don't just pop a cane trip mine somewhere, leave, and just disappear. All right, this is another one I got direct. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, the way I would do it is um, I would actually go pop a, pop the cane trip mines uh, um, on a spawn and and go out. You know, I actually I played this character on Gold uh, the first I don't know first two days of when the DLC came out, and a lot of people were surprised. I went to a lot of pug lobbies just to see what people will say, you know, or ask me any questions, and um, and it was it was ridiculous because I was just destroying everything with the cane trip mines. And um, and here my buddy Mono the oh, Spaniard missiles <laughs> that spawn. So I just wasted all those mines. But anyways, <laughs> it's okay, Spaniard. I, lo I love you, buddy. So the other thing is that I, I was playing Gold Pug lobbies just to see what people think and you know whatever the first two days, and I was just destroying everything with the King Trip mines, just going into spawns and all that. And in all honesty, that to me is the better way to play with this guy. Um, Plus having the omnibus set set up for melee damage bonuses. Now, I believe in honesty that a lot of you guys are probably playing mostly gold. You know, I, I get a lot of messages from all of you saying, "Hey, Vitter, you know, I you know I want to play more platinum. This and this and this and that." The thing about platinum is that you can do platinum pugs, and it works. It works out sometimes. I've actually pugged platinum quite a bit. Um, a lot of times it's either me having to solo sometimes or you actually get a good group and everybody's just really working out, helping each other and it, it works out really, really nice. Though what I def what I recommend is to actually reach out to a few people and see if they'll play with you and, and you know, build a team and, you know, get some strategies going. Now, what, <laughs> here I got wrecked. <laughs> so, what you want to do, guys, is that, you know, you, you don't, you want to kind of 
build a, a group of people that you want to play platinum with you can pug platinum absolutely I've done it it's doable it takes a lot longer but if you know you have a few buddies even just one that you can go ahead and play platinum with then you know the, the, the that you already know then the other two randoms that are coming into your lobby will kinda have to you know follow or you know work with you somehow and that to me it's, it's and I've done that before I'll, I'll play I'll bring another buddy of mine and then I'll, I'll I'm platinum and then I will let the other two become like pugs you know they're just people that I don't know they'll they'll come in and then next thing you know you know we're playing the game and uh, it, it works out right and I'm communicating or you know if we're not communicating at least you have your buddy system going right so that's that's kinda like the way I Pug Platinum. I have Pug Platinum where it's just me by myself and just you know random people in the lobby. But it, it's it, it's tough. It's tough who you get in. And at the same time, guys, you know there's some people that shouldn't be playing Platinum right away. Um, there are. There, there, it's, it's funny. I've had a. I, I've brought a few people into my lobbies before, and they're like, oh, I've never played Platinum before, or whatever. And they want to play Platinum, but they they have not. They they have not really. Uh, master gold yet you know they have now and, and it's not that you have to master gold per se to get to platinum it's just that you know you you should at least be able to handle yourself in gold be able to manage yourself even without the entire team covering you so and that's important now some of you guys may think well that's evaded that's a little different from the team mindset I think when you play these games you have to have both I think both of a team and a solo mindset what that means is that you have to be able to depend on your team for one thing, uh, in the sense that you could you could combo your powers with them. You could you could uh, you know work objectives together. You should definitely be working objectives together and not just going away, you know, on the objectives to just I don't know not do something else. But when you are when you are you know when you're playing a game on platinum, you have to also have a, a solo mindset uh, where you have to think well. You know, I have to depend on myself. I have to take cover. I have to think that, well, my teammates might not pick me up, and I have to think that way. So, guys, I, I believe that you have to have a little bit of both, a little bit of both, because like that, when you're playing like a solo mindset, you have to survive. You, you can't be. You, you're gonna be aggressive, but you have to think of cover. If you noticed, a lot of times I'm taking cover with this guy. Yes, I have died a few times. It happens. It happens. This guy is truly a glass cannon. He, he he's a glass cannon, guys. He will get destroyed. He gets demolished. He just he gets hurt. And you you know you have to take cover. You have to take a lot of hard cover. I like to take a lot of soft cover, but I notice with this guy, it's just I have to take a lot of you know hard cover with him because he just cannot take a hit. He will get one hit by everything, and marauders destroy him as you saw in the first wave. And I just you know that's the other reason why I was totally fine with leaving this video. Um, because even though I died here and there, you know, you guys can see the difficulties with this guy. You can see some of the great things that he that is good with him. You can see that his omni bows are great, and if you you spec out his uh, his build that way, you notice that you know you can actually destroy the enemies just with his omni bow. But at the same time, if you know if, if you're playing just with his cane trip mine build, you notice that hey, it destroys everything. So that's another thing to notice, um, and uh, and and how. You know, how flimsy he is because he is absolutely very very flimsy uh, and that that's it's a little annoying in all honesty it's a little annoying for me because I would have loved that you know for him not to be too flimsy I guess you know after they did a patch update to this guy because when he first came out his bows sucked I'm gonna be honest his bows really sucked they, they, they were so crappy they really it was like shooting popcorn at the enemies it really was. It was this totally shooting popcorn at the enemies. I mean, it was just freaking hell out. There was no reason nobody ever specced into the Omni Bow. After the last patch, they increased the Omni Bow's capability. They also increased the, the the rate of fire. So if you notice his Omni Bow, he can shoot him faster. You can get him out really quickly. He, you know, it's just they, they really uh, decreased it. I mean, I'm sorry, they increased the rate of fire. So it's much faster now to shoot your Omni Bow, and it's much more worth it now. So that's a good thing that they did in the last patch. And uh, when he first came out, it was just not worth it. Nobody wanted to touch this guy. Nobody wanted to do anything on this guy in that aspect. They just pretty much worked out the King Trip Mines, and I didn't blame them. 
I would not blame anybody who just did not even want to spec into Omnibow Mastery in any way. I mean, yeah, you ha you probably have to because you'll still have points available to you. But in all honesty, you know, the, the bows were just not worth it in the beginning. But as of now, it, the rate of fire is much faster. And with all the melee damage bonuses, they're great. Now, if, if you're going more for the Omnibow, uh, the Omnibow build... Uh, on your weapon, okay, you're you're probably gonna want to go with um, some kind of melee damage attachment. If you're using the shotgun, obviously you can use the melee damage attachment. Um, if you're using the pistol here, and this, the, the, like for example, I'm using the scorpion. You have the melee stunner, so that's a good thing. Um, you can also use I I don't believe that they stack, but the, the the power amplifier on the on the gun. It would be great if they did. You could use them together, but it's either or. In my situation, since I'm going for a King Tripmine build, I'm using the power amplifier on the gun on my pistol. But I, uh, but you guys can definitely use the melee stunner if you're using the shotgun. Use the melee uh, damage attachment and go with that, and you will see how his Omni bow just totally destroys. On platinum, I'm using it mostly just to stun the enemies, to take down a little bit of health, a little bit of armor here and there, and at the same time to debuff, debuff. Debuff buff so think of th th think of this build the king trip my build um for the armor piercing arrows when you're using them more kind of like the way you would use a proxy mine you know with a turian you would use the proxy mine for is it's uh it's 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 damage bonus like i use my proxy mine to uh be able to debuff the enemy so that they could take more damage um but you know in, in other words i go right ahead and i use you know, that's the way I think of it. I, I use my armor piercing arrows to just debuff the enemies and I'm fine and I'm good to go. I'm, I'm you know, I'll, my, the rest of my team can take him down and, and, and that's the way to work. So that's it, guys. Now, I want to talk a little bit also about the, um, the next video I have for you guys. I have a video coming up and I already have it. So, you know, you guys don't have to wait. It's going to be really quick. I'm not going to be... You know, don't worry, guys. I know I had a little bit, of, a few days off, but I'm gonna be posting a lot of videos lately. Um, just so you guys know, I did get, um, I did get recruited just recently, and I'll tell, you, I'll tell, I'll tell you guys this. You guys know that I started doing this. I don't get paid for this. I just do this for fun, and you know, I figured it, it was a lot of fun, and try to help you guys out on platinum and how to do it and all that. And it's been a fun ride. Uh, just recently, I got uh, a, a network reached out to me, and that was um, a few weeks ago, but I finally finalized the contract. So, as of, I guess, right after this video, I will uh, all the hits and all the views that uh, that I get will actually get me paid a little bit. And it's not, you know, it's not a lot of money. It's it's very little. But at least it'll be something, you know, some lunch money <laughs> that I can use. So, yeah, I will be posting a lot more. Not not for the money capability, guys. Not not to be able to make more money, but just due to the fact that I think you know I would like to do this a little bit more often, and it'll be kind of great that I could use you know those funds to, I don't know, I, I guess to do other games as well. I have another channel that has been kind of sleeping, and um, I just started doing a few videos now for that channel, and uh, I'm excited to start doing them. For example, Army of Two, that is a that is a game that I'm really excited about. Gears of War, we're about to start doing some gameplay on it. So that you know, there's other games that I'm doing, but. Anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know that. So because of that, um, I'm actually going to, even though I was always active regardless, I'm going to do my best to actually be way more active, uh, just like I was doing in the past, even when I have a vacation time. <laughs> so this has been absolutely awesome, guys. Um, you know, just creating these videos for you guys. And uh, due to the fact that um, a network reached out to me, I thought it was, uh, you know, it's, it's it's really interesting. It's, it's kind of uh, impressive that... Uh, uh, that a network actually took out their time to reach out to me, and it was um, pretty amazing. It, I, th I thought it was pretty awesome. So that that's the thing. Now the next video that I got for you guys, yeah, there I'm gonna have some weapons reviews. Now the weapon review that I am doing next, it's uh, I'm not gonna talk about it now. I'm just gonna surprise you guys, but it is so awesome because it's one of the new guns that uh, you guys, you know, uh, so, some of you guys. Well, a lot of guys in the forums um, and on different, you know, uh, when I've met in the lobbies, just feel like the gun is not that great. It's one of the new guns. They, they feel like it's okay, it's decent, you know, but but whatever. So we um, we take an entire team and we actually 
you know, different characters and everything. And we test out the gun, and uh, we show you guys how great it is. <laughs> so I'm gonna start doing um, a few weapons reviews, so you, so that to kind of show you. And they're all on platinum. Yeah, they're all on platinum. I want to show you guys how, you know, how badass you can make some of these weapons with uh, different builds and different characters. So um, stay tuned. The next video will be up pretty quickly and uh, I think you guys are gonna really really enjoy it a lot more than even this video because it is actually a lot of fun um, and I hope you guys enjoy these videos if you don't then let me know you know I, I know in the past and people have told me hey invader you know what's up with that you know whatever so that that's one of the videos that are coming up also the another cabal vanguard video because I have another build that I want to show you guys I'm going to showcase a little bit and uh, had a little bit of a fun making uh, that build as well so guys i hope that you've really enjoyed this uh, please put any comments on the bottom and uh please rate and subscribe if you haven't as well i will be um bringing a lot more videos to you guys and um you know hope you guys enjoy them now this was the uh the end guys i did not extract because of this i go right ahead i cleaned it up and then last second <laughs> the enemy's body w held me back, and I was right there. I, I would have made it. Oh, whatever. But anyways, guys, you know, this was a lot of fun. The character's awesome. And um, Invader went out, and then I'll see you guys on the next video.